When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say moo, moo, moo. That is what they say. They say moo, moo, moo. That is what they say. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say ba, ba, ba. That is what they say. They say ba, ba, ba. That is what they say. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say oink, oink, oink. That is what they say. They say oink, oink, oink. That is what they say. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say good day. When monkeys get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say. <laughs> that is what they say. They say. <laughs> that is what they say. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, my name is Laurie. And my name's Alice. And welcome to Online Baby Time. First, we'd like to acknowledge the people of the Kulin Nation for the land in which we learn, play, and film here today. Okay. So, we might like to start with a a uh, song called Spots, Spots for Baby. baby yeah. And I'm going to lie my baby down because this is a little bit of a tickly, tickly yeah. song, isn't it? And okay. so it goes like this. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are very nice. But a leopard has lots of spots. Spots, 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 spots. That's a fun one for baby laying down, maybe when you're changing nappy and things like that. Yes, and when they don't want to have their nappy change, it's very good to <laughs> change the mood a little bit. Mm. All right, let's do another one, heads and shoulders. Yeah, this is okay. a favorite. All right. Heads, heads and, and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, let's all clap hands together. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, mouth and nose, mouth and nose. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, we all clap hands together. Yay! It's fun to sing songs about body parts and touching baby on all, all over the body yes. and make it a bit interactive, like yes. things like that. Let's do open shut them now. Ooh, yep. I might lie my baby down again. Okay, got my hands ready? One, two, three. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Creep, creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Mwah. Yay, <laughs> love that one. I love the blowing the kiss because it's one of the first things they can say to you and it's one of the first things that are really nice to get back. Is oh, that's kiss. nice. Yes. It's great to have songs where you can increase that bond with your baby and yes. interaction. Yes. Yeah. All right, how about we do this little piggy? Yeah. So you can do it on baby's fingers or baby's toes if they don't have socks on. It goes like this. This little piggy went, went to, to market. market. This, this little, little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And, and this, this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Tickly song. <laughs> How about we do the other foot or the other hand yes, that you that's didn't do? That's a great do. idea. This, this little piggy went, went to the market. market. This, this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this, and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 wee. All the way home. Yeah, the little piggy's home. <laughs> All right, I've got a uh, book I'd like to show you today. 
great book with lots of touching. This book is called um, Baby Touch Colors. So it's got a lot of colors in it and things that they can touch. But what I wanted to share with you is if you can try and, when you're reading to your baby, if you can get them in a position where you can see the book, you can see their face, and you can really um, judge what they're looking at. And when you see that they're looking at a particular element in the book, you can um, comment on that element. And in that way, the reading of the book becomes a little bit of a to and fro between you and the baby. So, uh, you know, my baby is noticing, um, I see that my baby is looking at the, the bird's eyes. We could t talk a little bit more about the eyes. And uh, that way it becomes a bit of a uh, back and forth between mm -hmm. the baby and myself and uh, conversation. So the baby has a, a, a sense that you are hearing them and interacting with them and it's, and it's really rewarding. So that's another um, element of what's great with books is that it opens a conversation with your baby. Fantastic. So um, after doing that book, I would like to do one more song, if that's OK. The Grand Old Duke of York. Sure. OK. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yay. Thanks for joining us. You can check out the description below if you want the link to heaps more resources, tips on reading to your baby, and more songs and tunes uh, to start that bond. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.